Okay, got this puppy horizontal and just gonna put on the feet, just the very last feet. So when it goes into the concrete, um, it's all set up to grab and all that stuff. So that's what's happening right now. Hey, this is Jay Stargard, international artist and owner of Stargard Art. I am just cleaning up the bottom before I weld the, um, the stabilizing legs to go into the concrete because uh, there it wasn't level because when the heat and stainless mix, it warps a lot. So I just gotta cut those off because I like a really clean look. I like a super clean look and, and nobody's ever gonna see it, nobody's ever gonna know except when I deliver it and people see it at that point, but it just has to be clean because that's what feels the best. So all the way from the very bottom to the all the way to the top, super clean, slick, beautiful. Okay, here's my tip of the day. So the grinding wheels, see the holes in there? Sometimes you don't have the exact right um, tool that it fits so it makes no difference you don't need it you can pick any one it doesn't make any difference and how you do it is you stick one end here hold the lock button down with your finger and you get it to where it stops locking and then you just continue to push and you grab a hold of this outside edge and that one and you got it so let's get it locked again push on the outside edge and it comes loose you love me for that one. <laughs> so good. So this really is the very last of, of this besides installation for the project. And uh, it's just so cool. It's just so cool. And I'm and, uh, really looking forward to just spending a little bit of time tweaking out on just a weld that's easy and have some fun and... Uh, Means this baby's done. Stop. I have a ton of this uh, um, stainless steel, this one inch square tubing stainless steel, but that we got on like a recycle deal a really long time ago. Um, but this one must have been from something else because it actually has caps in the end. So whenever I get to use recycled materials, I just think it's awesome. And I, that's how I built my business, was on recycled materials. Um, we'll have to, I'll make a video about that at some point too, because um, that's a really interesting thing and how it's changed over the years. But, um, but uh, so cool. So this was somebody's table leg at some time for something um, or something else, but it looks like a table leg because that was the bottom with all the wear marks on it doing that. So. We're cutting it up and making it all new, and it's going to be the stabilizer for the sculpture. So, woo woo! Okay, second tip of the day. You too today. How cool is that? So, my chop saw isn't working right now, so I'm having to cut these by hand with my cutoff wheel. Ba -ba -ba. And um, it's fun. That's how I did things forever until I got a chop saw. But um, I have to be super safe, so I'm not using the the chop saw. So. In order to get a straight cut on these, because when you're cutting it drifts, you want to, I'm just running the, um, running my side of my, I, I already know my marks, so I don't have to worry about exactness right now, but here we go. So we run it on this side here, and then we turn it, and we do it exactly the same on two sides of the tubing. And that'll keep us straight. That'll keep us straight through the cut. So that's gonna work out super good. So that's what I've got going on over here. And so I can make that cut really easily and stay straight. And then I don't have to mess with fixing that. Yeah, okay. <laughs>
That was tip number two. I turned in one day. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fun. Okay, hope you guys are having a great day. So the next part of what I'm gonna do is um, during install, um, I, I really try to be careful and I don't have to clean these ends or anything, but install, I, I really like to be safe. So I go ahead and clean and soften and make sure that all of these ends are perfectly smooth. So when somebody's lifting and moving things that they don't accidentally cut and scrape themselves. So every single bit of this sculpture is taken care of and um, really taking care of who's working with me too. So yeah. So the last welds on this baby. Mm, I'm all tickly inside because that is super cool. And delivery and installation, here we come.
once and the piece is complete now. Just totally, absolutely complete. And the little babies, they're all babies, so there must have been some hatching going on. Oh, there's one right here. Let me see if I can get him. Ah, oh, can he come in? Can you see him? Here, I'll put him against my hair. Do you see him? There he is. Ah, those itty bitty babies. So yay. They get to go out into the world and flourish and catch bugs particularly skeeters. Oh, the dope, tiny. That's probably actually the tiniest guy I have ever seen. Oh, no, carefully. Oh, bye, buddy. Here you go. Okay, there he goes. How fun is that? What, what a cool completion to the piece to have those itty bitty baby spiders from day one with that big scary sucker and slowly having the size reduce consistently all the way through for months at a time and now completely done sealed gorgeous and beautiful and there's babies that are being born I love it I love it <laughs> so cool nature is amazing. Tasty.